Hi, this is David McKenzie of the McKenzie Law Firm, and I help people in Upper Providence obtain expungements of their criminal history. Now, if you're eligible for an expungement of your criminal history in Pennsylvania, what you will have to do to seek out that expungement is file a petition with the appropriate court. The petition that you file will have to contain uh, certain uh, provisions that are required under Rule 790 of the Pennsylvania Rules of Criminal Procedure. Uh, those mandatory components I'll go over now. And the first is that you'll have to include in the petition your name and any aliases that you've used, your current address, date of birth, and social security number. Uh, secondly, the name and address of the judge of the Court of Common Pleas who accepted your guilty plea or heard your case where you were ultimately uh, found guilty. The name and the mailing address of the affiant shown on the on the complaint if that's available and an affiant uh, is the person who uh, filed the charges so oftentimes it's going to be uh, a police officer uh, and that should be um, on the complaint uh, that you uh, hopefully still have in your possession. Next you'll have to include the uh, Philadelphia Municipal Court docket number or the Court of Common Pleas uh, docket number whichever applies in your particular case. Um, Next, you'll have to include the OTN or the offense tracking number. Um, in my experience, oftentimes uh, people don't have that number or, or can't locate that. That's not a deal breaker, but certainly that, uh, that helps uh, when filing the expungement petition. Uh, next, the date on the complaint or the date of arrest if it's available. The criminal agency that made the arrest and the agency that made the arrest would be um, uh, whatever uh, police department filed the charges. Uh, next, the specific charges as they appear on the charging document to be expunged. Uh, next, the disposition and if the sentence uh, included a fine or cost or restitution, whether that amount due has been paid and just as a helpful hint, uh, it's certainly going to help you if you can say in that petition that um, your court costs, restitution, and fines uh, were paid. If not, that's going to be a red flag in the petition. Um, you'll have to include the reasons for expungement, and that can be something as simple as um, that it affects your uh, livelihood, that uh, it causes you uh, embarrassment, having this blemish. Uh, on your uh, record, whatever you put, uh, make sure that it's brief, but at the, but that it's sincere. Uh, lastly, you'll have to include a verification by yourself that the facts set forth in the petition are true and correct to the best of your personal knowledge and belief. Um, and that verification can be by sworn affidavit or by um, an unsworn written statement that the facts are verified subject to the penalties for unsworn falsification under the Crimes Code uh, 4904 um, and Title 18, Section 4904. Uh, those are the things that uh, you will have to include in a petition for it to be uh, considered by the courts. Um, certainly it's something that uh, you can do on your own but a seasoned uh, criminal attorney uh, will certainly be able to help you and expedite the matter. Uh, additionally, there are other things uh, that you will have to include along with the petition um, that I'll discuss in uh, future videos, but nevertheless you need to know um, that there are other things too uh, that you will need to include. If you have any questions uh, about the expungement process in Pennsylvania, feel free to give us a call at the McKenzie Law Firm. Uh, we're here to help you however we can. Thanks for watching.